Hello, Andy May here from BT Sports. It's great it's still possible, of course, to do this annual sports presentation night. Congratulations to all Wickham High School teams for a very successful yet shortened season. There's obvious understandable disappointment that summer sports were unable to be played by many of you this year, but your time will come again. And I'm told, by the way, that you've done many amazing things in and out of school, which is superb. It's also important to mention, I think, the PE department as a whole, the staff who have worked incredibly hard to uh, make it possible for you to do what you do and to get you up to 22nd in the rankings nationally when it comes to state schools for sport. So a massive thank you and a huge well done to all of the staff, you know, all of the driving they do, uh, the encouragement, the standing outside in the freezing cold conditions, the rain as it is right now where I live in Leicester. So I'm sure you'll join me in being very appreciative to all that they do for you. Um, week in, week out, and, and over the past few years in general. I'm really pleased to say that um, we have with us a very special guest to announce one of this year's winners, a Super Cup netball winner as a player and coach, and more recently, the lady who led England to Commonwealth Games gold and three European netball championship titles, Tracy Neville, hello. Hi, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. It's great to have you with us um, as part of Sports Presentation Night. I feel though we, we've got to, before we get to the, the prize itself, let's keep everybody waiting, we've got to ask you for your take on sport in school. And that's not just from the perspective of competitiveness, but also for health and for enjoyment as well. Um, I think school sport now has changed for the better. If I think when I played back in school, um, there were limited opportunities for people. Um, there were only, you know, one team that went out and competed on a Saturday or during the week. Um, I feel that although there's a competitive element in sport, I think there's now more of a tailored approach so to individual needs. So people who don't want to be competitive or don't want to play sport at the highest level or are not so talented at sport, I think now there's a level that they can play out and still get the social and the health and the enjoyment out of it. And, and I think that's a such more positive outcome that um, teachers are, are implementing now in schools. And, you know, that can only make people more um, healthier, you know, longevity of the sport and hopefully keep them playing a sport like netball for the future. And at the other end of the spectrum, uh, being right at the top of a sport professionally, can you share with us how incredible it was looking back now, obviously, with the perspective <laughs> of hindsight to be part of the leader of that sublime Commonwealth Games gold in the Gold Coast in, in Australia? Um, you, you talk about memories, you talk about history. Um, and when obviously we won that Commonwealth um, gold medal, it was something that we'd been striving um, as a governing body in the netball for such a huge time. And people forget that I was once a player who, you know, started playing for England when I was 16 year old. So you know, it was something we always wanted to do. We always wanted to beat Australia, beat New Zealand and, and come away with a major championship goal. So to actually be part of the coaching team and to lead that team to a Commonwealth Games gold was an absolutely amazing experience. And it felt like that, you know, I was the leader at the time, but there were so many people that was involved in that. And I feel that sometimes they don't get the credit um, it usually, you know, showcases on the people that actually go out and perform. But there's so many people that went into that. Um, and it was just it was just amazing to be able to celebrate that. And, and, and the reaction of the nation after, you know, you talk about um, what you can win um, and you talk about um, medals and that's not everything. But to go on then and win the BBC Sports Personality um, of the Year, Team of the Year, you know, was something that our sport would only ever dream of. And, and gave, gave us the credibility and the standing that we've always been striving for. Yeah, no, it's great to hear you talking about it again. And I remember at the time, of course, not only, you know, the, the final itself, but also seeing across all television news programmes and, and sporting shows, it was just dominated, uh, at least for a few days, by the gold medal, which was absolutely fantastic, as you say, um, for, for netball and, and, and obviously for the, for the governing body and for everybody associated with, with the team. Yeah, and people, people say that winning, um, you know, is everything and... To netball, there was a lot of losses before we got to that win and there was a lot of learning. So, and I feel that sometimes you need to fail to succeed 
Um, but when you talk about um, winning that one occasion changed the complete sport um, and the spectrum of the sport. And, you know, we, we're hoping that that will continue. And you've been, you've been waiting for that, you know, that 1% um, to be able to do that. And it's amazing now to see how big that netball's come on the world sp stage, particularly in the UK. And the opportunities now that young women out there can go and, um, go and buy in. Yeah, I mean, you've got to lose sometimes, as you say. I mean, you look at Caroline Bosniaki in, in tennis, for example, or Liverpool in the Champions League final before the one they won recently. So um, definitely, definitely a valid point. Um, right, let's get to it then. The Wickham High School Team of the Year 2020. I'll run through the nominations. We've got the all squash teams, first of all. These girls played impeccably to yet again earn their place at the school's national and plate finals. Brilliant, talented players well done you're in the final shortlist along with the under 13 football team this team were top of the district league with only two games remaining before the season was cut short I mean that is agonizing two games to go also area and regional champions in the EFL Cup and had great success in the English Schools Cup reaching the fourth round and the final team on the three-team shortlist for this year's prize, the Inter Cross Country team successfully reaching the national finals of the English Schools Cross Country Cup. There's been success in the Buckinghamshire Schools County races, individual success in and out of school leagues. All in all, as you can tell, a very successful running calendar. And I'm told a perfect last hurrah for year 10's Keshni, Tia and Annie as national finalists. I'll hand back to the important one of us to, to tell us who has won the prize this year, Tracy. So it gives me a great honour to announce the team of the year and that goes to the Inter cross country team, Keshni Manek, Tia Lomas, Amber Galli, Annie Oaks and Lyra Browning. Congratulations to you all and thank you very much Tracy for joining us to be part of Sports Presentation Night. Thank you very much, Andy, and all the best to the other prize winners.